Upper from side. upwards, we have free margin of internal or and transverse muscle. From down, we have equilibrium. From in front, we have external and equilibrium. From behind, we have transverse tissue. Yeah? Now listen, what I have from up. Free margin of internal oblique and transverse muscle, but between these muscles we have ilioinguinal nerve. That's a if it will pass just from up to down, through the roof it will be entered inside of the inguinal canal. Not through the apertures, it doesn't need to come here from apertures. Because it's located between two structures which is called the roof of our canal. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me or no? Now if I will open my door, my door will moderate it for you completely in the middle canal. Look, this is posterior wall, transverse tissue. Mm -hmm. This aperture it is deep ring. There is anterior wall, external oblique upper across that window, it is superficial ring. Mm -hmm. Superficial mm -hmm. ring. This is two muscles, this is inguinal ligament. Majority of structures enter to the canal by deep ring and leave the canal by superficial ring, but not in the inguinal nerve. It is come to the canal just from the root, because it is between two structures which is called this root. You understand me or not? Now this nerve come, listen me up here. nerve come to the canal and it is innervated all the walls of this canal. Hamzaja, if during surgery I will cut this nerve, what will be happening? Inguinal hernia, thank you very much. Two minutes before I told you, weakness of weak place will make pernicious. If this nerve innervated the wall of the inguinal canal, and I cut it, I make weaker the weak place. You understand me or not? Ilio hypogastric nerve is not so much important. It gives the skin branches for hypogastral region and innervate. By the way, terminal branches of both these nerves reach the upper third of medial surface of type. Upper third of medial surface of type. And both make sensory innervation of skin. Your femoral region in medial surface have 10 times more sensor, sensory innervation than lateral surface. Medial surface is very, very sensual. Lateral, not so much. That's why any trauma of medial surface, you feel okay. much more okay. than the traumas in the lateral surface because innervation is much more better medial. You understand me or not? Let's finish space number one. That's how we understand. In between internal oblique and transverse, we have six inferior intercostal, we have four pairs lumbar, and we have nervous inguinalis hypogastric. Right, please, space number two. Space number two we call Langenbeck space. What is Langenbeck space? Look to me. In front of me we have anterior wall, behind of me posterior. I am stand up inside of peritoneal cavity and I look to the anterior wall. I am some organ of peritoneal cavity. First of all, what I will see? Hamza. Hamza will be open. I am stand up in peritoneal cavity, I look to the wall. What will be first layer of the wall? What will be second layer of the wall? Transverse tissue. What will be between them? Lying and back space. You understand now? If from inside I look to the anterior wall, first of all I see parietal peritoneal. Second layer, it is transverse. Between them, line and expert. Now look to me. Now I turn back and look to the posterior wall. Again, first of all, I see parietal peritoneal. Behind of it, I see the transverse. Look, this is try to understand. Yes. For anterior wall, she is in front of you. For posterior wall, she is behind of you. You understand? Let's say I see parietal peritoneum. I see transverse fascia. Here it is called endoabdominal fascia. And between them I see retroperitoneal space. Let's say Langenbeck space and retroperitoneal space, it is just a ring, continuation of each other. Up to the middle axillary line in front, we call it Langenbeck. 
behind of middle axillary leg, we call it retroperitoneum. But this distance between Hamza and our friend in the back will be thrice bigger, wider than in front. Because here, posteriorly, this space contains organs. Anteriorly, no, only fat. You understand it? That's a second place of location of the vessels. It is lying in back space between Hamza and our friend. You understand it or not? The, third, the second layer is very, uh, very tiny, uh, very, very tiny. It's the same yeah, is a longer bit. You can call it preperitoneal or longer Or by autumn, you can call it longer bit. It is the same. same. Okay. That's it. Remember, please. Now, this uh, iPad, which is between them, it will be deep vessels. Which deep vessels and nerves we have? Right, please, two deep arteries with the veins. First, we call inferior epigastrum. Second, we call circumflexa evi, profunda. You remember, we have superficial epigastral and circumflexa evi, superficialis, in fatty tissue. Here, we have inferior epigastral and circumflexa evi, profunda. But we don't have pudenta interna. This is your usual mistake. You think if there are pudenta externa in the fat, here will be pudenta interna. No. Pudenta interna located here, and it is supply anus, anal portion of the rectum. It is from the internal iliac artery. Let's say, remember, please, in anterior abdominal wall, we don't have pudenta interna. We have pudenta externa. Pudenta interna located in pelvis. Supply it is understandable for us. Now look in the step. Let's draw in the diagram. Now I draw two lines, one centimeter above the inguinal ligament. Because this is now branches of iliaca externa, not femoralis. One by interrupted line, again to umbilicus. Second by interrupted line, again to anterior superior relaxed spine. This one will be number four. Yes? And this one will be number five. Okay? That's how we can do this. Fourth of all, fifth. Fourth one will be epigastric <laughs> inferior. Fifth one will be circumflexing in the profunda. Projection is absolutely safe, only this started below inguinal ligament, one centimeter, this started above inguinal ligament, one centimeter, but again, border between middle and lower third of inguinal ligament. One is go to a millimus, second is goes to the anterior superior index. So where is the femoral triangle? Femoral what? Triangle. Femoral triangle, it is this one. We will study in the lower extreme. Femoral triangle, it is upper third of the medial interstitial space, which is content vessels and nerves. And so you see this femoral artery come to this femoral triangle. Femoral triangle located in lower extreme, but not in anterior. Yes. That's like this is, wait, this is two arteries which is located inside of the Langen bank space. But now we need attention into this picture. Look, please see it. Do you know what is this yellow transparent structure? It is transverse tissue. Rectus muscle is removed. You remember below umbilicus, posterior wall of rectus sheet, it is transverse tissue. And look in this artery, it is epigastric inferior. You see, it is from Langen back space, perforated transverse tissue, and come to the rectus sheet. There's an inferior epigastral artery not completely located inside of the lumbar back space. Now look, if this be, will be this artery, his base located between these two persons, but then it is perforated here and come to the rectus. That's a base of artery located in lumbar back, tip of artery perforated transverse fissure come to the rectus. That's a third place of location of deep vessels. It is right. right. That's a first space between internal and deep and transverse. Second space, it is lying in this space. Third space, it is right. But exactly in the brackets, right place, behind the rectus muscle. Not in front of the rectus, but behind of the rectus. 
By the way, guys, I want to remind you this picture also. This picture also. Mm -hmm. Look to me. Rectus sheet has very important specificity, which is different from up to down. Above the umbilicus, for right and left rectus sheets doesn't have any communication. What? You are right rectus, you are left rectus. I am between you, white line. I close, I locate it only in front of muscle and behind of muscle. I close any communication between these two compartments. But below umbilicus situation, again, he is right, he is left. I am uh, white light, but I am only in front of them. Yeah, Behind of them, free. these sheets communicated to each other. If it will be passed here, yeah, it can be free. passed from one side to another side. Yeah. This is surgically very important. Where is located vessels in there? Behind yeah. the red mm -hmm. Inside of the sheet, but behind of the red muscle. <coughs> but there are one more artery here also, guys. In this picture, <clears throat> in this picture, if you will look attentively, you will see that one more artery goes from up to down, and in the level of umbilicus, it forms anastomos with inferior epigastrum. It is so called superior. superior, of course. Thank you very much. Right, please. Second artery inside of the red. Let's say inside of red to sheet, we have two arteries. First one, it is terminal portion of inferior epigastrum, mm -hmm. and second one it is superior epigastrum, which is from thoracica interna. You remember we studied together, yeah? Which is from thoracica interna. And on the level of umbilicus, they form anastomosis. And veins of these arteries also form okay. anastomosis. Look, inferior epigastral vein belong to inferior tunnel system, superior epigastral into superior tunnel. That's how you can write now and mark. We find together first venous anastomosis, cava cava. That's how we find together inside of the red sheet, first venous anastomosis, cava cava. You understand it? Please, Dr. Sorry, but uh, about the operation. About what? Operation, surgery. To, to, uh, all the terminals uh, contain uh, uh, important structure. Yeah, of so where is the best place to perform so that we... We will study the special, I understand it. Right? We will study special topic which is named laboratory incisions. We don't have one best place. Well, for example, it will be very stupid, yeah? For example, to reach the liver from this point. Yes. Or to reach the appendix from that point. Or to reach the stomach from this point. To say it's impossible to have one universal best place. That place is, must be according to the structure which you want to open. That's why we study together projection of organs and vessels in this. So if I need to find something, I must find the shortest way. That's why, according to this, we have five groups of surgical incisions in anterior wall. It is horizontal, it is vertical, it is oblique, it is combined, and it is changing. And I will teach you in the future which one has one advantages, another has another advantages, there are also disadvantages. Really, really. Let's continue. Now, we understand what is the anesthetic. Now, Hamza Jan, maybe you. Tell me, please, in your opinion, what is the importance of this venous anastomosis? Why we need to? Why caval superior and caval inferior system should be anastomosis? Should be anastomosis. By the way, a little after you will find second type of anastomosis. Portal, portal caval. That's an anterior wall. We have cava caval and we have portal caval. But let's come generally to a common idea. Why venous different systems? should be communicated. Maybe if one it is closed, it can be... They say normally now, you, me, be our friends. Neither is an astonish or not. Yes, we could. Of course not. Remember, please, any anastomosis, any anastomosis, we use only in critical conditions. 
in normal conditions, everything has enough subtainment and enough drainage. I don't need any anastomosis. Now all my anastomosis mm -hmm. are and hips and everything mm -hmm. is closed. Mm -hmm. What is necessary to open them? Two situations. Situation number one, changing yes. of the pressures. Situation number two, changing of the gas concentrations. If we will be these two reflexogenous situations, our chance, our anastomosis can be open. That's why you are right that you say that if one system will be blocked partly or completely, why do you need the second one? For example, my touch wood, the inferior portal system is closed. Now blood should shunt it from the inferior system to spread. How we make shunting surgery in cardiovascular cases? For example, this is coronary artery. This is heart. For example, anterior coronary artery. It is closed in some place. What does it mean, shunting surgery? I will apply here anastomosis. Mm -hmm. Above and below this closed place. Now blood cannot pass by normal way. It will go by this bridge. Yes. Artificial. Artificial bridge, but I save the supply, but I save the muscle. Otherwise, if it, this place will be blocked, it's this hard. bridge which it's is hard. supplied by artery will be necrotized. We call it infarct. So I think you understand it. This is the big problem. It's a shunt. It is communication between different systems in case of critical situation, not normal. We find first anastomosis inside of rectus, right place. Second cover cover anastomosis. Second cover cover. Located in fatty tissue of anterior abdominal wall in the level of your umbilicus. Why? Everything is simple, guys. Remember everybody. Remember everybody. All superficial veins below umbilicus drain into inferior cavity. All superficial veins above umbilicus drain into superior cavity system through the axillary veins. Thoracic, intercostal, superior cavity. I think it is more than simple. Okay? Brilliant. But we have one more very interesting anastomosis, which is called portocolor. Mm -hmm. 